Global warming gets a rebranding. This is in the Politico today. Been a change in climate for Washington's greenhouse gang. And they've come to this conclusion. To win, they have to talk about other topics like gas prices and kids choking on pollutants. More than two years since the Democrats' cap-and-trade plan died in Congress, the strategic shift represents a reluctant acknowledgement from environmentalist wackos that they have lost ground by tackling global warming head-on. Their best bet now lies in a bit of a bait-and-switch. Help elect global warming fighters by basing campaigns on kitchen table issues. How many of you thought global warming was about saving the climate and the planet? How many of you thought global warming was about actual science? How many of you thought global warming was about the polar bears losing their ice homes? So forth. How does it feel to realize now that all it is is the latest Democrat hoax? It's the latest Democrat Party political move. It's actually not the latest. It's nearing 30 years of age. Designed to get you to willingly give up some of your freedom and transfer it to the federal government. The Politico, wittingly or unwittingly, has let it be known here that global warming is nothing more than a purely political issue. And the Democrats think they're losing it, not because of the science, which is a lie. They're losing it because somehow the politics just isn't working its magic on you anymore. This story points out even the radical globing, global warmer types at the Sierra Club are realizing that people just aren't buying the dangers of man-made global warming anymore. And they're trying to figure out why. You know what really stumps them? You know what really stumps them? They thought the lack of a brutal winter in the Northeast would convince everybody that there is global warming. And frankly, I've been sitting here wondering if that would have an impact, because people do associate the temperature on a particular day, that time of year, with whether or not there's global warming. That's how effective the campaign's made. But apparently... This warm winter has not changed anybody's opinion on the whole man-made global warming business. Because the Sierra Club realizes people are not buying the dangers of man-made global warming. So it's the Sierra Club that wants to rebrand their message. Or as the Politico says, their best bet now lies in a bit of bait and switch. That's the Politico. That's the two writers at the Politico. The global warmers now have to rely on a best bet in a bait and switch, which, of course, is something the left our past masters at. So now the Sierra Club is running campaign ads in swing states, featuring young children with asthma inhalers making their way through the capital. Of course, hiding behind women and children is another thing the left or masters at. They're going to try to sell global warming with pictures of children with inhalers. As the article notes, the left has figured out it needs a better message, one that's more resonant on the local level to combat the job killer talk from the evil Republicans. Cap and trade, all this stuff that would be mandated to fight global warming would result in a loss of jobs, and the Republicans have pointed it out, and people believe it. So the Democrats, well, we can't have that, so we gotta, we got to combat that somehow. Melting glaciers are giving way to smog-induced asthma. That's the new campaign. And your kid, see this kid with an inhaler? That's because the glaciers are melting, and that's causing asthma. Fuel efficiency is now a matter of pump prices, not pollutants. See... As far as they're concerned, all the left needs to do to counter the claim is to come up with better optics. We're told the Sierra Club campaign has some ads focused on how CO2 causes asthma attacks now. Did you know that? What you exhale causes asthma attacks. That's their new campaign. 
what you exhale. And they've got kids with inhalers to protect them from what they exhale. Because it's causing asthma attacks. And their ads cheer the regime for their planned regulations for power plants. Sierra Club's a 501c3 charity that forbids them from lobbying Congress on legislation or backing political candidates, yet they do it all the time. Got 